Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Shadowface and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's 3 video. Today I'm going to be talking about a theory I had on the new picture Scott posted on his website of the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 camera map. What I did in that video was actually show you what the picture was, then I brightened it up to reveal a few secret hidden routes that you can find outlining the map. And in that video, I asked you guys what you thought they were, and a lot of you guys said vents, but after looking and thinking a little bit more about this picture, I came up with a theory that could kind of make sense. So let's get right into this theory. So we do know from the Steam Greenlight page that the new area that we're going to be playing in is actually a horror attraction called Fazbear's Fright, and it is actually based off of the stories that happen at the pizzerias. So, if this is supposed to be a horror attraction, they're probably going to have to be actors to give the people that walk through it a few jump scares, a few scares, and a few yells and boos and whatever. Uh, so they're probably going to need to be actors, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about really, in a horror attraction, you walk through it and there are like people that will jump out and try and scare you and whatnot. They're normally actors in costumes that relate to the theme of the attraction. So that's probably what they would have here, right? And maybe if they want to use the same actor for a different location, they would have backstage routes to get to a different area before the crowd makes their way slowly to that area. So just a quick example, if an actor wanted to do a jump scare in the first area, they would then have the opportunity to run backstage to get to area 8 before the crowd makes their way there. It'll also give a chance for a person in area 3 to give a jump scare and then run back to area 1 to fill in the first person's place. So what I'm getting at here and how this relates to the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 game itself and how the gameplay works is that if there is the secret passageways for these actors to get through to different parts of the map. An animatronic could use that just as easy as a human being. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at Five Nights at Freddy's 2. These things were crawling through vents for crying out loud. So what I mean by this, if there are actually backstage routes to get to these different areas of the map, that means that cameras are going to have to become more of a necessity to check because he can be in Area 1 and then quickly teleport to Area 8 using these backstage routes. But, what if there are actually cameras in these backstage areas? There very well could be because if you go to the source on scottgames.com, which is Scott's website, you can actually see that the content equals Cam 15. And this is a little weird because as of right now, we only have gameplay and screenshots containing only 10 cameras. But, I actually saw a theory on Twitter, I don't have the... Uh, Speed up as of right now but if you guys do see on the picture there's this little white arrow pointing to area one uh that actually could possibly be something you click to to get to the uh other five cameras that are hidden throughout these little backstage passageways this is just a theory though guys so i want to hear what you guys have to say about it please leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and thought the uh, theory was entertaining uh, and subscribe to the channel as well for more five nights at freddy's 3 content to come up i'll also be doing a playthrough on the demo because i did get granted early access thank you very much scott i appreciate that and other than that i'll see you guys later i'm shadowface321 taking off so you guys take care and as always have a great day